Welcome back to a uh, another GIMP tutorial. This one is uh, one of my favorites. It's on the uh, threshold tool. Um, what you uh, what we've got here is we've got a picture of an airplane. Now, if you notice, the background is unusually dark, and uh, the plane, due to the fact the lighting was low, looks and there was no time exposure taken. It looks. Um, a lot like it was taken with a flash. It was an older camera. The flash didn't have the power. There was no place to bounce off of. So basically, it looks like it was really taken with a flash. Now, the objective in this is to lighten up the background without, without affecting the detail in the plane. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do it through the uh, threshold function. Um, I've, I've got this layer here called airplane. I'm going to duplicate this layer I'm going to rename that layer and uh, under layer attributes and we're going to call it uh, background and we'll say OK. Now what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to add a new layer and the purpose of this will be uh, evident in a moment. But now in this background layer I'm going to select this background layer. I'm going to come up here to colors and I'm going to select threshold. What threshold does is selects on either side of this pointer in this value uh, luminosity ranges and just divides the image. Here's the darker part of the image. Here's the lighter part of the image. Now if I slide this more into the darker portion, you'll see less is um, um, actually selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide Oh, right about there, because I still want some of the, uh, uh, I want some, uh, most of the plane untouched. So I'm going to say OK. Now I've selected that. I'm going to come up to my color select tool, and I'm going to select this region, uh, this region of the image that is represented by that uh, luminosity level. Now I'm going to come up to my fill layer. I can actually turn this layer off at this point because I've created this selection. I'm going to come up to my fill layer up here. I'm going to come up to uh, edit and if you'll notice my background color is white I'm going to fill that with my background color. Now it looks pretty unnatural so basically what I have to do here is I have to come in and set this as soft light which now it looks uh, a lot more natural and um, then I was corrected by another user. <laughs> I was saying opacity. Well, actually, he was very, very right. Thank you, sir. It's opacity, uh, uh, opacity, or whatever. I'm going to have to learn how to say that word. But uh, by tuning the opacity down of this layer, uh, we can vary the effect to where it is just right. Okay. Now, one final thing. We're going to accept, or we're going to, we're going to uh, select that layer, and uh, we're going to do a select all. Uh, we're going to select this layer, this fill layer. We're going to come over to our filters and uh, blur and Gaussian Blur. We're going to accept a high value which I have here. I'm going to say OK. And if you'll notice that image pops right out. So now if I turn off this fill layer you can see the difference in the background. Now quickly we're going to go through this one more time to make sure all the steps are understood. Okay, I have a layer. It's called airplane. I'm going to duplicate that layer and we're going to call it uh, background. I'm going to say OK. With that background layer um, selected, I'm going to come over here to my threshold and I'm going to select around 100 because I want the majority of, or I want 
the majority of the background, but uh, not all the airplane. I don't want the airplane brightened. In fact, we can probably even take it slightly more. So we're going to say, or actually slightly less. Now we're going to say OK. So we've selected that. Now we're going to come up to our color select tool, select um, this luminance range, basically with our color select tool, which we have now done. Then we're going to move up here. We're going to add a layer, and the layer is going to be called fill. It's going to be transparent. We're going to say OK. So I have a fill layer on top. Uh, we can, and now we're going to select, and I mean we're going to go to edit, and fill that layer with the with white, which is our background color, but we're filling it with white. Now we're going to turn off that background layer. We see our image looks unusually, um, it looks kind of goofy, but if we come up here, and we go to select our mode as soft light you'll notice that it looks almost natural. What we have to do though now so we have to bring this down slightly on the opacity okay until we get the desired effect do a select all and then what we can do is delete the background layer. Uh, we can come up to image and we can flatten the image. And now we have a vastly, gra vastly improved uh, image of that airplane. Not perfect. It would take some time to work on it. But um, I hope you've enjoyed um, this tutorial. This is uh, a tutorial on using the threshold tool um, along with um, an image to lighten a, uh, a whole range of values. So uh, please visit uh, the site uh, www.fotolinq.com for a lot more tutorials and this tutorial and others in much um, larger format and with much more clarity and uh, they're served directly off my server. Well thank you very much and let's continue enjoying and supporting the hobby. Thank you.